Bearcat Nation made sure the Irish knew they came to play. Thousands made the journey. Alexa Helwig did too and shows us how fans celebrated the day. Cincinnati showed up in South Bend. So many made the four hour trip to see the top 10 showdown and they got a show. Let's go! In a sea of green, Bearcat Red stood out. UC will travel when we know it's going to be a good game. Great loyal fan base. Yes. I expected just as many, if not more. Thousands of fans took over Notre Dame Stadium and they didn't forget their Bearcat traditions at home. Cincinnati hasn't played the Fighting Irish in nearly 121 years. And when fans saw this game on the schedule, getting here was a no brainer. We're here with some family and friends. This game's not a question. This was a game that we had to be at. I mean, it's the game of the season. We booked the tickets a while ago. He jumped in, but yes. Listen, yeah. it's a big game. This is what we're fitting to do. Both Cincinnati and Notre Dame undefeated going into the game. Fans on each side are passionate. Oh, we've been having a good time. Everybody here has been really friendly. Uh, obviously, we we kind of talk some smack when we can, but it's it, no, it's been a really good time. The Bearcats demanded control of the game early on. Fans hoped that'd be the case, settling what some call unfinished business with former Bearcat head coach Brian Kelly. Brian Kelly left us in the Sugar Bowl and we're back to show him what he left us at. Bearcat fans are heading back to Cincinnati. Very excited tonight. This is a win for the history books and it carries a lot of momentum for this program as the university just accepted an invitation into the Big 12 conference last month. Reporting in South Bend, Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. The Bearcats return home to Nippert Stadium on Friday to face Temple.